So it's been written. Woo! Woo! Time is now. Gangsta! Gangsta! This is, this is, this is, this is, this is. Wake your motherfucking So welcome to my den. I got paid and got a chauffeur. I'm a rider to the end. Got an extender on the body and that body got a twin. Welcome, welcome to my den. I'm live again. Hey, I am talking about today being a lesbian and loving my people. Now, there lies a question, do my people love me? Most, some of my people do. Most of them, they are very judgmental. And this is going back from yesterday. You have to sweep in front of your door before you sweep in front of someone else. Um, I was talking about colorism and stop judging one another. And now I'm on this, this today talking about being a lesbian and loving my people. I want to get on the topic of a young man who was on Facebook. And the first thing he said to me that I was part of the problem. The reason why he said I was part of the problem is because I can't produce any baby when I'm having sex with a woman. First of all, it's none of his business what I do. But I am not in the closet, so I'm, everybody around here and there know that I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. I'm okay with that. But the crazy part, when he said that, I said, well, even if I was straight, I couldn't have any kids because I had, say, I had a hysterectomy. And the crazy thing that I said to him is, I guarantee you, <coughs> excuse me, I guarantee you if I had my girlfriend, or if I had a girlfriend, and my girlfriend and I go to him and um, we say we want to sleep with him, he will be okay with the idea of even having a relationship with us long as he's in between that situation but we're still sleeping with each other you get what i'm saying we're still sleeping with each other so you should choose i i'm like i told him you should choose your battle wisely um because you're saying one thing but of course we already know that you would sleep with both of us and everybody has seen that's okay but we're not producing any babies. We're just sleeping with him. Because he, because, and that kills me. Because guys want you. You should be able to be with them because they want you. No, sir. No, sir. I will respect you because I consider you a king. Just like I consider other women a queen. Just like I am a queen. And I, I will respect you just as I want respect in return. But... And I will not down no guy because I'm not interested in having sex with him. I will not down you. I doubt that is not me. I am not going to do that. But the problem that I have is being so out my. I swear, I say it again and I say it again that my people are so judgmental. And, and, and I'm so curious is it the reason why? They are so judgmental. Is it because that we have been judged by the color of our skin all our lives? Is that the reason? I'm trying to figure that out. Is that the reason that we have been judged by the color of our skin all our lives? And that's the main reason. But that's no excuse. Because you should see how it feels to be judged by the color of your skin. And not by the contents. You should understand how that feels when you're being judged by that. So why would you judge others? And then come to it, Han, um, the question that I always... A question mark comes in my head all the time. I mean, I'm telling you people, it comes in my head all the time when I see a gay, uh, uh, not a gay man. I see um, 
a straight man. I can't stand those gay F and F. Uh, I can't stand those studs. Or uh, I see a straight woman saying, I can't stand da 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 If you're saying that, and the first thing that comes to my mind is, are you comfortable of your sex- sexual preference? Because anyone who's comfortable of their sexual preference wouldn't give a crap what someone is doing behind their bedroom or what they are if they're holding hands out in public or they're loving the same sex because they're comfortable within people you're comfortable within you wouldn't care how people view view you even if those people um if a gay man or a gay woman come and hug you and 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 um hold and, and and give you a handshake you would not have a problem with that is because you're comfortable you're comfortable in your sexual preference so that's why my 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 question mark pop up in my head it always pop up in my head when i hear people trying to gay bash and I think you need to think about that when you hear me. Oh, and, and, and I, I'm not trying to get off the subject, but I, I just really want to say this. I want to say, um, Governor Snyder, please step down because Flint should not have gone through this because you want to save money and put money in your pocket. You need to step down. I am also doing a lot of research about um, Flint crisis, and it's amazing how um, um, polluted water can affect our kids and ourselves. You'll be amazed. And um, I just want Governor Snyder to step down. Just just saying. Hey, um, back to... The topic at hand. I think that my people need to stop judging and start caring about each other and start uniting and loving one another. Um, It will be a better world. Because you know what? If we unite together, boy, we will be a whole nation. We will be a nation, people, if we unite. I can, I'm going to always, every time I broadcast, I'm going to always say this, that we need to unite. Stop worrying about what people are doing behind closed doors. And this is the crazy part. Even the government. The state, the local state, the local and state is worrying about. I'll give you a fine example. They tried to, they're putting in their, they're trying to put in their policy in Michigan that anyone who do anal sex will either get a fine or get some years. Get some years in prison. Do you hear me? You can look it up. They're trying to put it in policy, honey. They fail to realize a lot of straight people are doing anal sex. It's not just gays. They're trying to take it back. I mean, let me tell you something. If you don't put that third ear on and listen to these people, what they're saying in the government, Local and state, you better wake up. I'm telling you, you better wake up. This is something they're trying to put in policy. Now, I'm I'm curious about this. How would they know you're having anal sex if they're not in your household? Interesting. How would they know that? How would they know that? I know nobody who's doing anal sex is going to go down there to the government office 
and said, hey, I just did anal sex. Put me in jail, find me. Come on. But they're, what they're trying to do is, let me just break it down to you. They're trying to put this out so people can think about that and try to fight that instead of worrying about what's really going on in Flint. Come on now. You didn't hear me though. That, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to deflect. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to deflect away from the problem at hand is what's going on with that poison water. So they're like, oh, we're going to have a whole lot of people going to fight against this policy. They're not going to worry about the water over there. They're going to fight against this policy because, hey, we're trying to stop people from doing anal sex and we're going to put them in jail. Yes. That's what they're trying to do. Deflect. They're good at that, though. They're good at it. They've been doing this for years. If there's a problem, oh, my God. Like, when Trump is doing something, they're deflected. Oh, my God, we need to do this. We need to talk about something else. We don't need to talk about that. We need to talk about something stupid. Because that's what they can relate to. You know what I'm saying? So it get deeper than that. If they put that policy out, we're going to have some people out here who say, yeah, we're going against the gays. We're not thinking about ourselves because we doing anal sex. No, we, we're we thinking about the gays. These gay men have an anal sex. We're not thinking about um, nothing else. We're not going to think about that Flint poison water who's affecting the kids and making them sick. And it's going to affect them for the rest of their lives. We're not going to think about that. Yeah, we're going to go up there and we're going to vote for that anal sex policy. Stop it. We're going to stop it real quick. Because they shouldn't do that. That's against the Bible. Guess what, people? You know what the Bible says about that? Judging. He who judge will be judged first. So yes, you will be judged before I will. Because you're worrying about what? I'm doing behind closed doors. We have a fight to do. Stop worrying about what I'm doing behind closed doors. I'm standing up for my people. I want my people to stand up with me. Not behind me, in front of me, on the side of me. So we can stand up and throw our fists up and say, I'm black and I'm proud. That's what I want. I'm black and I'm proud. Come on, people. Let's do that. Let's stand up and say, hey, we are people who love one another. We are not worrying about. We're not worrying about what someone is doing behind closed doors. Why? Why are you worrying about that? We have so much to worry about. We have so much going on. We have things that you can imagine that they're trying to get us away from. Because if you don't have that third ear and you don't listen, we are in trouble, people, if we do not listen with a third ear. I'm telling you, you need to wake up. If you think that they're your friend, you're crazy, people. If you think that they're not your friends, but you're worrying about what I'm doing behind closed doors. Really? Are you serious? No. Stop it. Let's unite, people. I'm going to say this time and time again. We need to stand up together because you say, what? I'm standing up loud. Hey! Say it loud. Say it loud. Say it loud. We are black and out and we are proud. Remember that. Don't worry about what people are doing behind closed doors. 
They're trying to take us back to slavery. Listen to the, the campaigns that's going on when they're sitting up there saying, I want to go back in the old days. I want to go back in the old days. Do you not understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Wake up, people. These people trying to take us all the way back and we worrying about what someone is doing in the bedroom. Are you serious? Come on. Are you serious? Let me let me give you a bell, uh, this bell ringing. Yes. Stop it. Stop worrying about what people are doing. I love you guys. And I'm going to love you. And the problem is, I wouldn't even give up my life for my people. That's why I'm on here preaching and, and trying to get you guys to understand that I'm here to stay. I am going to fight for my people if my people don't love me. But I hope one day you do. If not, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. As long as I can have some of you behind me and worrying about how we can unite. Because if you don't stand behind me, that is okay. That I, I really don't. I, I, I'm okay with that. I'm not getting upset or nothing like that. But remember... We have more problems in our community than worrying about someone having sex with the same sex. Let's stand up, people, and say, we black and we proud. Hey, we black and we proud. Hey, but I'm always going to love you because I love you. Yes. So I hope all of you guys have a great day. I had to get on this topic. And it was, it had to be heard and it had to be televised. It's not televised, but it is podcast. So, let you guys know that if we don't unite and we continue to worry about what people are doing behind closed doors or doing in front of your face, you're going to have a problem with it. And then you need to question your sexual preference if you really want to gay bash uh, you want to um, say some derogatory um, words to lesbians and gay men. If you do that, then you need to really question yourself. Um, because, I, I'm going to say it again, if you're secure in your preference, if you're secure in yourself, you don't have to gay bash because you're secure. You don't have to call someone a name. You know, and it just it, it, it just takes me back to how they used to call and how they still call us the N-word. They call us that. And we need to stop it. We have so much to do in our community. Come on. Um, as for the gentleman who would question me, um, about um, my sexual preference and when I said stated that I also had to um, let I, I had to ask him I say besides you worrying about my preference what are you doing for our people he had nothing to say so I had to break it down to him and say I myself is getting my master's degree and the reason why is because education is knowledge and is the key and everybody have said that. And I always say that Mandela, um, Obama, um, Mecca Edwards, um, um, everybody have said this plenty and plenty of time. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, uh, Marcus Garvey, um, all these people have said that. Education is the key to success. And um, that's what I do as making it better, better for um, my people, because if I am educated, I so will try to get other people in my community to be educated. I speak out, as you see, as you hear on this um, podcast, um, 
I also blog Anton Johnson 1459.blogspot.com. A N T O I N Johnson. Yeah, you can check my blog out as well. Um, I speak um, a lot to my fellow um, student. Um, um, I um, try to attend meetings at uh, my school. So I am just gradually doing so much now in a full-time job. (laughs) I have a full-time job as well in trying to get all this accomplished because I want to speak out for uh, my people. I want us to do the right thing and I want us to unite and and do better and remember that we are kings and queens and by doing that we have to get our education we have to do better even if you don't get your education at least try to read um, what's going on you have to know about your past before you know about your future that is a must so I instill that to everyone if you like it you like it if you don't that's fine I am so content on that I am but people wake up stop judging one another and i like to say toodles i love you guys i love you i love you i love you i love my people and i'm i'm glad that you're listening and continue to do what you do best but please stop judging um please stop worrying about what um other people are doing because we have we have a fight we have a fight right now, and if you're not paying attention to what what's going on and not open that third ear of yours and paying attention that these people are trying to take us back all the way to slavery, and you're worrying about somebody's preference, there's a problem. There's a problem. Hey, love you guys. Thank you.